Okay, uh, we're just going to have a quick look at how to get files um, off of your virtual machine. Uh, this will hopefully help you with um, some of the parts of submitting your assignment one. So uh, there's three things that you need to submit from um, from your virtual machines that you'll need to kind of copy uh, copy across onto your ECS accounts before you can do that. So the first is your Bash script, your network connectivity script. The second is the output of your Bash script, and the final is a series of your interface configuration files. So um, this video will go through uh, how you get each one of those off the machine onto your local machine, so that you can then submit it. So starting out with your network connectivity script. So um, if I type ls, you can see on my Wellington machine I have a network connectivity script there. Um, it works, so I'll just show you, but I haven't fixed all the bugs. So you can see my, my bash script is running there, but I've still got a few uh, bugs in my network. So I'm just going to stop that by pushing Control C. Um, so if I want to copy across this network connectivity script, I'm going to use the command SCP, which stands for Secure Copy, and then it's the name of the file that I want to copy, which in this case is Network Connectivity, and then the machine that I want to copy it to. So I'm going to copy this across to ELF, at 192.168.56.1 colon tilde slash uh, and this means copy that file to my local user um, if I hit enter now what you'll see is this error and most of you will get this error particularly if you're moving around computers essentially it means I don't have authentication to copy that file and what I need to do is um, I need to um, re re-authenticate uh, the command for that is given in your bash, uh, in your lab script, sorry. It's ssh-keygen-r192.168.56.2. Hit enter, and now if I go back, and remember I can just put up on the keypad to go back to previous commands. I hit enter, and um, that absolutely did not work once again. Because I, if you noticed, um, Reauthenticated the wrong machine. So yes, ssh-keygen with a one at the end rather than a two, which is what I did. And now we type yes, and then I'm going to type in my password. Cool, and it's copied across, and that will now be in the home directory of my my ECS login. So just essentially um, click on this window down here, uh, this little file browser icon, and that network connectivity script will be in there. Uh, the next thing we want to do is copy across the results of that network connectivity script. So my network connectivity script, if I want to take those and stick them, uh, stick those results in a file, I'm going to use this character, not the pipe character, the greater than symbol, and then I'm just going to put the name of the file I want this to be put into. And I'm going to call this final bash script output. You may call this last bit whatever you like. Um, I'm going to call it that to kind of fit with um, what's in my part of the lab script. I hit enter, um, go yes, uh, you won't get that error, it's just because of that typo that I made before, and then you have to sit for a little bit, and once your script has finished running, we'll be able to copy it over. To, to save some time, I'm going to pause the recording until this is finished, and then um, we'll start it again once it has finished, once the script has finished running, and you'll tell it's finished running once it's got back to that um, root voyage command. Okay, so that command has finished running. If I type ls to show my directory, you can see um, in, in this folder, I have now got a file called final bash script output. And once again, I can use scp to copy that across to my local machine. So I don't have to do that, that keygen command anymore. Now that I've done that, it's all fixed. And so all I'm gonna do is use that same command as before, but instead of network connectivity in there, it's gonna say final bash script output, enter. Once again, it's gonna ask me for my password and that's now copied across, and that will now be in my home directory ready for submission. So the final part of this is we ask you to also submit that your interface configuration files, and these are the files that you've been actively editing to fix all of these bugs. Um, going and getting them individually by hand will take you quite a long time, so instead what we've done is we've written a little bash script for you to pull them all together onto Wellington, then you can zip them up and just submit the zip file. Now if you have already submitted them as individual files, that's, that's fine as well, but if you want to save some time um, and just zip them all up ready for submission. Um, we'll just go through and, and create a, a bash script to do that. Um, you can find the, the text of this bash script on the assignment website. So we're going to use nano and I'm going to go um, 
interface copier, but I'll spell interface correctly. So it's bash script, so it starts with bin bash, there's four i n two dot dot fifteen, so this means go through all of those hosts, do um, scp root at 192.168.56.i dollar so we're going to be cycling through all the machines um, to prevent us having to use the password I'm going to type keyfile.private in here exactly the same as we did before and like yes I'm still running this on on Wellington and then we've got hold on etc network interfaces so this is uh, what file are we copying, and the next part is where are we copying it to. So I am going to go tilde slash interfaces, interfaces, if I spell it correctly the third time, slash interface dot dollar i. What that will do is it will log on to each one of those machines, copy the interface file over to my Welling machine, Wellington machine, put it in a directory called interfaces, um, and call it interface.2 or interface.3, interface.4. Finally, I need to just close my loop with that done command and push exit. Yes. Now the one catch is that I'm going to be copying it into this directory where I already am and notice that there is no interface file there. Um, so let me show you what happens if I, if I don't make a directory for this to go into. So first I need to modify the permissions on my script, so plus x interface copier and now dot slash interface copier. And what you'll see is it will get a lot of complaints, no such file or directory. And that's because, remember how I put it in a folder called, I said it was going to go into a folder called interfaces? Well, unfortunately that folder does not exist at the moment, and that's why it can't create it. So if I type in ls, we'll see no new files have appeared here. So I just need to make a new directory with make the, and then interfaces. Then I'm going to go back to my script run it one more time and you'll see it successfully copy all of these different interfaces file across. If I type ls, now you can see there's an interfaces file there. If you cd into it or if you just use this kind of shortcut, interfaces star, you can see I have got um, 11 different interfaces files in there from 2 all the way up to 15 and that makes it 14 different interfaces files, not 11. So the last part is, rather than getting you to submit each one of these individually, which is still a pain, we're going to zip them all up together, and there is a command line tool for this called tar. So just type tar-cvf interfaces.tar. Uh, so this is the name of the zipped file that we're going to create, and then we're just going to type on, slash interfaces. So this means uh, include all of the files within the interfaces directory into this zip archive. We hit enter, it will say, oh okay I found all these files, I'm zipping them all up, and if I type ls once again I can see I have an interfaces.tar file there. The last thing we need to do is copy that tar file uh, across to our local machine, and you can just submit that as a zipped tar file. You don't have to unzip it, uh, and then it's just interfaces.tar, once again back at our SCP, hit enter, and enter your password, and that has now made it across over onto your local machine. Then it should be a simple case of uploading those three, plus the PDF of your answers to your assignment questions, and all your submission for assignment one is done. Good luck.